Glory be to Allah. Glory be to the one, the absolute in might. Subhanah. Glory be to the omniscient, the all-knowing, the most wise. Glory be to the king, Malikul Mulki, the owner and the reckoner. Glory be to the magnificent, the sublime. Glory be to the avenger and the severe in punishment. Glory be to the subduer, the giver and the taker without account. Glory be to the one whom when he seizes, he does not release. Glory be to you, Allah. None equals you in might. Glory be to you, O Allah. None equals you in knowledge. Glory be to you, O Allah. None equals you in gentleness. Glory be to you, O Allah. None equals you in clemency. Glory be to you, O Allah. None equals you in mercy. Allah has said, and His word is truth, in His glorious book. سَنُرِيهِمْ آيَاتِنَا فِي الْآفَاقِ وَفِي أَنفُسِهِمْ حَتَّى يَتَبَيَّنَ لَهُمْ أَنَّهُ الْحَقِّ أَوَلَمْ يَكْفِ بِرَبِّكَ أَنَّهُ عَلَى كُلِّ شَيْءٍ قَدِيرٍ أَلَا إِنَّهُمْ فِي مِرْيَةٍ مِنْ لِقَاءِ رَبِّهِمْ أَلَا إِنَّهُ بِكُلِّ شَيْءٍ مُحِيطٌ We will show them our signs in the horizons and within themselves until it becomes clear to them that it is the truth. But it is not, but is, but is it not sufficient concerning your Lord that he is over all things a witness? Unquestionably, they are in doubt about the meeting with their Lord. Unquestionably, he is of all things encompassing. Indeed, our Lord, you have spoken the truth. The truth in which we believe. ربنا آمنا بما أنزلت واتبعنا الرسول فاكتبنا مع الشاهدين. Our Lord, we have believed in what you have revealed and have followed the messenger. So register us among the witnesses. We witness now more than ever on a daily basis Allah's signs of majesty and power surrounding us in every direction. For the believers, their faith is strengthened when exposed to the grandeur of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. They submit and humble themselves before Him, recognizing their deficiency and recognizing their need for His mercy. يَرْجُونَ رَحْمَتَهُ وَيَخَافُونَ عَذَابَهُ إِنَّ عَذَابَ رَبِّكَ كَانَ مَحْذُورًا They hope for his mercy and fear his punishment. Indeed, the punishment of your Lord is ever feared. For all of mankind, Allah's signs act as a warning. وَمَا نُرْسِلُ بِالْآيَاتِ إِلَّا تَخْوِيفًا And we send not the signs except as a warning. Be not like the nations destroyed before us who did not heed the signs nor the warnings. And we threaten them, but it only increases them in great transgression. This is the condition of the haughty, of the arrogant and oppressive. They double down in their rebellion and defiance against Allah. Then it is but a mo then it is but a matter of moments before their towers of tyranny come crushing down upon them. Through Allah's signs, we are taught lessons for us to reflect on. Due to our comfort and indulgence in the pleasures of the life of this world and our heedlessness and neglect of Allah. Allah abruptly reminds us of our weakness. He abruptly reminds us of our incapacity, our inability, our poverty, our helplessness. 
He created us weak and said, وَخُلِقَ الْإِنسَانُ ضَعِيفًا And mankind was created weak. Weak against the visible and weak against the invisible to the naked eye. Weak against the known and against the unknown. Subject to Allah's will and mercy. This calamity, my dear respected brothers and sisters, serves a number of divine objectives. It is an advanced punishment for the wrongdoers, for the tyrants, for the oppressors and for the corrupt. As for the believers, it serves as a mercy, an expiation of their sins, a cleansing from their misdeeds, an elevation of their station with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. This is a lesson for us to entrust our affairs in the hands of the one who does not lose the trust. To entrust our affairs in the hands of the one who does not misplace things. The one who does not sleep. The one who does not forget. The one who does not miscalculate. The one who does not over or underestimate. Inna kulla shay'in khalaqnahu biqadr. Indeed, all things we created with a precise measure. We entrust our affairs to the living who does not die. And rely upon the ever living who does not die and exalt Allah with his praise. We entrust our affairs to the creator who knows the interest of his creation. أَلَا يَعْلَمُ مَنْ خَلَقَ وَهُوَ اللَّطِيفُ الْخَبِيرُ Does he who created not know while he is the subtle, the acquainted? We, my dear respected brothers and sisters, in every day are surrounded by harms, but Allah Ta'ala spares us. He shields us and protects us. From far, more that, from far more than that which we know. He says, وَمَا أَصَابَكُمْ مِن مُصِيبَةٍ فَبِمَا كَسَبَتْ أَيْدِيكُمْ وَيَعْفُوا عَنْ كَثِيرٍ And whatever strikes you of disaster is for what your hands have earned. But he pardons much. Had he accounted us and held us responsible, for, for all of our faults, immediately, nothing would remain on the face of this earth. وَلَوْ يُؤَاخِذُ اللَّهُ النَّاسَ بِمَا كَسَبُوا مَا تَرَكَ عَلَى ظَهْرِهَا مِنْ دَابَّةٍ وَلَكِنْ يُؤَخِّرُهُمْ إِلَىٰ أَجَلٍ مُسَمَّى And if Allah were to impose blame on the people for what they have earned, He would not leave upon the earth any creature, but He defers them for a specified term. All of mankind are tested, my dear respected brothers and sisters. Allah Ta'ala, He said, الَّذِي خَلَقَ الْمَوْتَ وَالْحَيَاةَ لِيَبْلُوَكُمْ أَيُّكُمْ أَحْسَنُ عَمَلًا وَهُوَ الْعَزِيزُ الْغَفُورُ He who created death and life to test you, to test you as to which of you is best indeed. And he is the exalted in might, the forgiving. He said also, كُلُّ نَفْسٍ ذَائِقَةُ الْمَوْتِ وَنَبْلُوكُمْ بِالشَّرِّ وَالْخَيْرِ فِتْنَةِ وَإِلَيْنَا تُرْجَعُونَ Every soul shall taste death. And we test you with evil and with good as a trial. And to us you will be returned. Before death, we will be tried with difficulty and ease. And we can safely assume that up until this very point, we have been tested with ease. Heated homes, cars and public transport, more clothes than we can wear, more food than we can eat. How did we fare with this test? Were we thankful and grateful to the provider to the sustainer? Or did we fail the test of prosperity 
and will now face a trial of a different nature. This is the time to take stock. This is the time to reflect and to reckon ourselves before we are reckoned. Umar radiallahu anhu, he said, Hasibu anfusakum qabla an tuhasabu. Take yourselves to account before you are taken to account. Wazinu a'malakum qabla an tuzana alaykum. And weigh your deeds before they are weighed against you. This is the time when our sincerity and truthfulness of our claims will be put to the test. Those who pledged to Allah that if He grant them abundance, they would do good with their wealth, now is the time to fulfill your pledge. Be not like the hypocrites whom Allah described. وَمِنْهُمْ مَنْ عَاهَدَ اللَّهَ لَإِنْ آتَانَا مِنْ فَضْلِهِ لَنَصَّدَّقَنَّ وَلَنَكُونَنَّ مِنَ الصَّالِحِينَ And among them are those who made a covenant with Allah, saying, If He should give us from His bounty, we will surely spend in charity, and we will surely be among the righteous. فَلَمَّا آتَاهُمْ مِنْ فَضْلِهِ بَخِلُوا بِهِ وَتَوَلَّوْا وَهُمْ مُعْرِضُونَ but when he gave them from his bounty, they were stingy with it and turned away while they refused. So he penalized them with hypocrisy in their hearts until the day they will meet him because they failed Allah in what they promised him. And because they habitually used to lie, Alam Yalamu and the law Hayalamu Sirrahum Wanajawahum, Wa and the law Hayalamu Huyub. Did they not know that Allah knows the secrets and their private conversations, and that Allah is the knower of the unseen? Those who have bought more than their need. If one person goes wanting, then know with certainty that you will receive a share of the blame. Hoarding, despite the need of the public, is a major sin. As the Messenger ﷺ stated in his prohibition of monopolization. This is a time of selflessness, of altruism. We are in need of Allah's mercy. We are in need of Allah's generosity. Therefore, treat everyone with mercy, treat everyone with generosity. Be selfless. Be selfless and do not hoard. Prefer others over yourself. Allah Ta'ala, He praised the Ansar, the Medinan Muslims, who welcomed the emigrants from Mecca with open arms, shared their homes, shared their wealth, shared their properties with them. He praised them saying, وَيُؤْثِرُونَ عَلَىٰ أَنفُسِهِمْ وَلَوْ كَانَ بِهِمْ خَصَاصَةً وَمَنْ يُوْقَ شُحَّ نَفْسِهِ فَأُولَٰئِكَ هُمُ الْمُفْلِحُونَ And they, the Ansar, give them, meaning the emigrants, preference over themselves, even though they are in neediness. Despite their need, despite their poverty, they gave, they gave and thought not of themselves, but thought of others and whoever is protected from the stinginess of his soul it is those who will be successful i ask allah tabaraka wa ta'ala to protect us from the stinginess of our souls i ask allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to make us of those who reflect and ponder and think deeply i ask allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to raise this scourge from mankind and to forgive us and to elevate our ranks and to protect us in our health and in our wealth and in our families and to protect above all our religion. Walhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen. Inna alhamdulillah, nahmaduhu wa nasta'inuhu wa nasta'afiruhu wa nasta'hdiuhu ونعوذ بالله تعالى من شرور أنفسنا ومن سيئات أعمالنا من يهده الله فلا مضل له 
ومن يضلل فلا هادي له وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له وأشهد أن محمدا عبده ورسوله Respected brothers and sisters Just like the mother withholds from her child despite her love for him so that the child may be disciplined and return repentful to her so too does Allah cause us hardship so that we may become alert so that we may become alarmed and so that we may rush back to him with repentance he deprives to then provide he takes to then give he impoverishes to then enrich and he tests to forgive let us turn to him with devotion and sincerity he alone is ever present to answer our calls he said wa idha sa'alaka 'ibadi 'anni fa inni qareeb ujibu da'wat ad-da'i idha da'an falyastajibu li wa liyu'minu bi la'allahum yarshudun and when my servants ask you o muhammad concerning me indeed i am near i respond to the invocation of the supplicant when he calls upon me so let them respond to me meaning by obedience and believe in me so that they may be guided allah ta'ala has commanded us to call upon him with humility and with fear ادعوا ربكم خوفا ادعوا ربكم تضرعا وخفيه انه لا يحب المعتدين call upon your lord in humility and privately indeed he does not like transgressors ولا تفسدوا في الارض بعد اصلاحها وادعوه خوفا وطمعا ان رحمه الله قريب من المحسنين and cause not corruption upon the earth after its reformation and invoke him in fear and aspiration with hope that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will grant us what we ask ask with enthusiasm inna rahmatallahi qareebun min al-muhsinin indeed the mercy of Allah is near to the doers of good he does not like the transgressors therefore return the money return the money you cheated people out of return the inheritance to its rightful heirs seek forgiveness from those you offended and defamed seek forgiveness from your parents whom you hurt and upset desist from your persistent sinning and disobedience of Allah invoke him call him pray to him but without the shameful stains of sins covering you to the overwhelming majority of the british muslim public if you have been deprived access to the masjid then let your homes become mosques and do not let them become graves as the messenger peace be upon him said if you cannot hear the adhan let your homes ring with the call to prayer let your homes buzz with the sound of recitation of quran Moisten your tongues with the remembrance of Allah. Wet your cheeks with tears of desperation. Lower your heads in humility to him. Raise your hands in need. It is only Allah whom when feared is run towards and not ran from. He said, "Fafirru ila Allah, inni lakum minhu nadhirun mubin." So flee to Allah indeed I am to you from him a clear warner for everyone listening now or to a recording later raise your hands in supplication as Allah is shy to return the hands of his slave when he calls him he is shy to return the hands of his slave empty when he calls him oh Allah we appeal to you for the weakness in our strength and our limited power and treatment of contempt and humiliation from people most compassionate and merciful you are the lord of the oppressed and you are our lord 
under whose care do you leave us? To a distant person who receives us with hostility, or to an enemy you have given power over us. If there is no anger from you on us, then we will forever be content. But your mercy is vastly greater for us. We seek refuge in the light of your face, by which all darkness is dispelled, and both this life and the life to come are put in their right course against incurring your wrath or being the subject of your anger. To you we submit until we earn your pleasure, and there is no control and no power except by you. اللهم إنا نعوذ بك من جهد البلاء ودرك الشقاء وسوء القضاء وشماتة الأعداء اللهم إنا نعوذ بك من زوال نقمتك وتحول عافيتك وفجاءة نقمتك وجميع سخطك لا إله إلا أنت سبحانك إنا كنا من الظالمين لا إله إلا أنت سبحانك إنا كنا من الظالمين لا إله إلا أنت سبحانك إنا كنا من الظالمين ربنا ظلمنا أنفسنا وإن لم تغفر لنا وترحمنا لنكونن من الخاسرين ربنا ظلمنا أنفسنا وإن لم تغفر لنا وترحمنا لنكونن من الخاسرين ربنا ظلمنا أنفسنا وإن لم تغفر لنا وترحمنا لنكونن من الخاسرين اللهم مالك الملك تؤتي الملك من تشاء بيدك الخير إنك على كل شيء قدير رحمن الدنيا والآخرة ورحيمها تعطيهما من تشاء وتمنع منهما من تشاء ارحمنا رحمة تغنينا بها عن رحمة من سواك اللهم أنت إلهنا الحق الحقيق يا مشرق البرهان يا قوي الأركان يا من رحمته في كل مكان وزمان وفي هذا المكان احرسنا بعينك التي لا تنام اكنفنا في كنفك الذي لا يرام إنه قد تيقنت قلوبنا أن لا إله إلا أنت وإنا لا نهلك وأنت معنا يا رجاءنا فارحمنا بقدرتك علينا يا عظيما يرجى لكل عظيم يا عليم يا حليم أنت بحالنا عليم وعلى خلاصنا قدير وهو, وهو عليك يسير فمن علينا بقضائها يا أكرم الأكرمين يا أجود الأجودين يا أسرع الحاسبين يا رب العالمين ارحمنا وارحم جميع المسلمين إنك على كل شيء قدير اللهم استجب لنا كما وعدتنا برحمتك عجل علينا بفرج من عندك بجودك وكرمك وارتفاعك في علو سمائك يا أرحم الراحمين إلهنا يا من لا يشغله شيء عن شيء يا من أحاط علمه بما ذرأ وبرأ وأنت عالم بخفيات الأمور ومحصي وسائس الصدور وأنت بالمنزل الأعلى وعلمك محيط بالمنزل الأدنى تعاليت علوا كبيرا يا مغيث أغثنا واكشف ضرنا يا أرحم الراحمين يا أكرم الأكرمين اللهم ارحمنا وارحم جميع المذنبين من أمة محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم إنك على كل شيء قدير عجل لنا بفرج من عندك بجودك وكرمك وارتفاعك في سمائك يا أرحم الراحمين إنك على ما تشاء قدير بسم الله ذي الشأن عظيم البرهان شديد السلطان كل, ي... كل يوم هو في شأن ما شاء الله كان ولا حول ولا قوة إلا بالله العلي العظيم بسم الله الذي لا إله غيره الرحمن الرحيم اللهم أذهب, عن... اللهم أذهب عنا الهم والحزن أمن يجيب المضطر إذا دعاه ويكشف السوء ويجعلكم خلفاء الأرض أإله مع الله قليلا ما, تش... قليلا ما تشكرون وصل اللهم وسلم وبارك على سيدنا محمد عبدك ورسولك النبي الأمي وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم تسليما كثيرا عدد ما أحاط به علمك وخط به قلمك وأحصاه كتابك وارض اللهم عن ساداتنا أبي بكر وعمر وعثمان وعلي وعن الصحابة أجمعين وعنا معهم برحمتك وجودك وفضلك وكرمك يا أكرم الأكرمين وأقم الصلاة